Welcome back everybody. This is 100 Visions Guy. And on this video tutorial, possibly a series or a playlist, I want to talk about configuring the Atom Hackable Text Editor for Python programming. And um, this is an editor that you can install on multiple platforms. So it's not just tied into Windows. It's Windows, Mac, Linux. And so it's a hackable text editor, which means it has all kinds of features that you can expand upon. And there's already a bunch that are great to use. So I want to just kind of go through getting a system set up for doing Atom and Python programming. Now, down below, uh, over here, I have Python, that uh, a Python file using the old uh, idle editor. So here's idle on Windows, and there's the shell. And let's say I create a program, and I go to save that program. And I have, uh, so I go to, let's just add one here. I'm just going to call it test.py. Now, if I run it in here, um, what will happen is I'm going to get an error. And I see the syntax error, unexpected EOF while parsing. All right, and I immediately know there's an error there. Okay, so by default, a text editor is not, this is actually considered an IDE, an integrated development environment. It's a very much a sort of basic one. It does not have a lot of whistles and bells like you might see, but it has things like a debug option where you can debug your program. So there are some features that you want to have. And so if you just get the Atom Editor in and of itself, and you go and you save the file here, and then you go to save it. And we're just going to save it next to the other one, just so you can sort of compare. And we'll call this test2.py. And I save my changes. Now at this point, to run it, there's nothing I can do from here. I actually have to go into the folder, find where that file is, but you guys, now I got to go open it up because I don't think I have it in a folder. So I'm just going to right click on here. Now I can show and explore. And I can double click it. But if, if you notice, it opened and then it just killed itself. It just crashed. But I got no message. I have no error. I don't know what went wrong. So this is not going to be a good setup if you don't have any of the features that Idle has. So what we're going to do is we're going to download all the features you would want for Python programming using the Atom editor. And in order to do that, we're going to need to install some packages and do a little bit of configuration. So we're going to go ahead and install a package. We're going to click Open Installer. And the first thing we're going to look up is Python, because that's what we're dealing with here. OK, Autocomplete Python Language Python. It looks like language is already on here. There's also a Python tools and Python indent. We got all kinds of things in here. Python debugger. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of the ones that are going to help you um, with programming. Now, I have to give you this disclaimer. This is one of my students. I'm using one of my students' computer. I'm on his account because I want to just make sure this is something my students can do. So we're going to go ahead and try to install autocomplete, and hopefully there will not be any issues with that. I'm going to let this run, and then I'll come back when it's done. Okay, as soon as I'm done, it has enable kite or enable local engine. I'm just going to try the enable local engine and see what happens. And then if you want to improve Atom, you can anonymously send usage data. It's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and be a nice guy, play well with others, and go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, so that was autocomplete. Well, let's see what happens now if I go into a Python file. Ah, look at that. So right away, it gives me some suggestions. Oops, so watch. I type I, and then I can hit enter right there. And then it gives me suggestions as to what I can put inside. And now notice the error I had before was because I didn't close the parenthesis. Well, autocomplete did that for me. All right. So now um, I got that far. I get autocomplete. That's going to help me solve a lot of programming problems right then and there. Let's go back to the installer and see what other items we can install and add to this program. While you still have the welcome guide, just click open installer. And Python is still here. So we have autocomplete Python. All right. Let's see what else we have. We're going to try the Atom Python run. I'm going to scroll down 
and let's install that. Now, one of the things you may want to do while you're installing or before you install even sometimes is better is to click on the link up there and then it will open up the, the information on the website about it. So sometimes it'll tell you things like keyboard shortcuts. All right, so this is a debugger package. I thought I clicked on a different one. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. So we're going to go back to here. And, oh, I, yeah, I clicked Python debugger. I, I meant to click add on Python run. Um, but let's just go ahead and do the debugger anyway. And um, let's go ahead and set a variable. Let's write a function. Okay, I coded out some code. I got a print and I got a function called insult and then I call the function here. And um, at this point, we can't really run it right here. Uh, so let's get let's go ahead and get the other package installed and then we'll test this particular um, the debugger after. So we'll go back and it's the Python um, run. There we go. We'll install Python run. It's already installed, did not take long at all. We'll go ahead and take a look at the usage on the website. If it lets us take a look at it, run. Run your Python source file using F5. Well, that's easy. I know how to do that. So I go over here, this is what we do in Python anyway. So I'm gonna type F5 and let's see it run. There we go. All right, we got an error now. So we've already made progress in the running. It gives us a chance to see any errors that we happen to have. And so now we get to test the debugger. Okay, now I'm gonna hold down Alt, type R. There's debugger. I can click run. Or I can type F5 to run. Oh, it already canceled that. Okay, let me, sorry, let me do this again. Okay, so you click run and then it starts showing you the lines that it does. And then you're gonna to wanna to click next on each one to see how it goes. One of the things you can notice is you'll notice that the lines are getting highlighted as we run them. So as we click next, we're now calling the function. And we click next and now we're in the middle of running it and that's when we have the error. So it sort of walks through as you click next and it just keeps cycling through the program step by step. I just realized that the debugger is not as good as I thought it would be. If you Let's go back to the website on here. Um, and one of the things is, if you look at the bottom, you will see that they don't do any watched variables or expressions. I prefer that in a debugger. I like to be able to watch a, video, uh, a variable and see what the value is at a certain point. So I don't think this is as good of a tool as I would want. If I really wanted to do debugging, I might do it a different way. I will say you can add a breakpoint using the Alt-Shift-R, and then that way you can jump directly to a part of your program. But I found that this is not as valuable as I thought it would be. Now, what if you want to run Python directly inside the window? Here's a tool that I like, Adam runner. It will run your script right inside of Atom. And it works with other languages, not just Python. So we're going to go to Atom runner. I just did uh, install packages and I wrote run Atom runner install. So we're going to install this one. And then we'll go back to the test2.py and we'll see how much better it is once we have the Atom runner. So we may have to configure settings, but let's just see if it happens to work in here. Type F5. All right. Oh, yeah, we still have an error on here. Let's fix the error. That's where I had the error. F5. Running. Okay. I'm going to take Alt-R off. Nope, that was Control-R. Take the debugger off. Adam Runner. Hey, world. Hey, you. You code like a monkey. All right. There we got it. I'm going to close this for a little bit. There's our Atom Runner over here. Um, and so you see how that now you can basically run your Python code and see what it looks like in the window right there. At this point, I think we have all the main tools we could want for Python. And so in the future tutorials, I'll show you more Python coding in the Atom Editor if I find any other tools that you would like. <laughs>